Well, in one year, Elon Musk has done this. Since he became CEO one month ago last year, at that time, he fired half of the employees, and then he got rid of the old school Twitter、uh, checkmark system, where you have to file for a blue checkmark. And he turned it into a lame as paid paid subscription. He also faced backlash for trying to stop everyone for from posting competitor links on Twitter with their tweets. He also had the audacity to make Tweet Deck into a paid subscription to use. The Twitter schedule feature, where you schedule tweets. I can't do that anymore. He also rebranded Twitter into an X. He also made it to where you only have to pay a subscription to vote in the polls. Not to mention the fact that he posted his own tweets too. And the even worse part is, he reduced the limit to how much we can view Twitter. He suspended journalists who were rightfully criticizing him for the dumb shit that he has done since he was CEO of Twitter. Not to also mention that he. Mislabeled public television accounts like PBS and public radio accounts like NPR and the BBC. Elon also didn't have a permit when he told some people to put up a. Big X sign on top of his building. Oh, and he was also the dumbest person on earth to not recognize that cisgender is not a slur, and he banned anyone from saying this word. Whether Elon Musk wants to admit it or not. Each speech has still risen up since he became CEO of Twitter, and then when he stepped down as CEO of Twitter, which I'll get to the good thing he did in a moment, hate speech was still rising up when he was no longer CEO of Twitter. Then there was this stupid. Childish, moronic shit called the Twitter files. He threatened to sue Media Matters for holding Elon Musk accountable, and he didn't like that. Oh, he also made one of the worst decisions to replace the Twitter logo with a. Dodge Coin logo. He brought back Alex Jones after he said no last time. He also made celebrities quit Twitter because it's not longer feasible to use it. He threatened to remove NPR's original Twitter ad to another company. Elon Musk has been also censoring left-wing Twitter accounts, so that should really tell you something about him. He also suspended a Twitter account that tracks Elon's 
Republic, Janet. Elon Musk made all the advertisers leave Twitter again. And it's really not the first time all the advertisers left Twitter. This is the second time now. The automatic follow body Twitter accounts have gotten worse in the era of Elon Musk since he took over. He also restored Donald Trump's Twitter account, even though he bothered to never use Twitter again, and he's been firm on that. The only good thing he did for Twitter was that he hired Linda Yaccarino, who was a former NBC Universal top advertising sales executive. Elon Musk remained birdwatch to community notes, which is one of the other good things that he only did. But for the most part, all the bad things he did on Twitter is why he is in this video today including limiting the amount of DMs you can send on Twitter. Last I heard it was six. Santa, would you agree that this is all the bad things that Elon Musk has done? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, he has gone so much bad things on this platform. He does not get a present at all. In fact, Elon, you get a call on your stocking for ruining this platform that everyone loved and that everyone originally recognized in the first place. How could you change such a platform that didn't need changing over a stupid rebrand? Like, really? You're a naughty, naughty man, Elon Musk. Naughty, naughty, naughty. You get a call. And that's the reason why I wanted to talk about Elon Musk as he is on this year's 12 Days of Dumbass series. And I just want to call him out for that and tell him right now that he is, in fact, a dumbass for doing this.